हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर द नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ कम्युनिटी हेल्थ नर्सिंग ऑन नेशनल फैक्टर बोन डिजीज कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम एंड बिफोर लेट्स स्टार्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद आर and now we'll be starting with the session on com uh, community health nursing in which we'll be discussing about the national vector bone disease <laughs> and we will be discussing about the elements of national vector bone disease control program will be and then we'll be discussing what are the preventive measures which we need to take along with the discussion on the uh, preventive aspect and what needs to come what needs to what probably can come in your exam clear so with this let's get started with our session and in case if you have any doubt please feel free to, please feel free to ask any form of question in the comment section below and i'll be sharing my screen with this i hope my slides are visible to everyone and i am audible too okay so with this we start our session on national Con vector bone disease control program before that i would like to introduce myself i am ms manjeet and i am the subject educator for community health nursing at nursing next life so in today's class we'll be discussing about a very important topic which is national vector bone disease control program both from nurse's point of view as well as from subjective or i should say your exam point of view before getting into the class let us understand the basic concept of this program see the uh, short form for this program would be nvb dcp so there are six elements in this program so means it will be covering six types of diseases okay what are those six types of diseases these are dengue chikungunya malaria japanese encephalitis lymphatic filariasis and kala azar now why only though these six diseases why not the rest of the diseases are clubbed under this program why what could be the answer the name only suggested that they have something in common and which is they all are vector born so when we will be trying to prevent them or when we'll be trying to manage them there is one thing which will be common in them that is controlling the vectors the if we are able to control the vector then we will be able to manage the program eventually we will be able to achieve uh, the success which is designated under this program clear okay? so now uh, we will be discussing the definition concept roles and responsibilities we'll be discussing uh, all the elements of this national vector bone disease control program see this program is very huge and so is the content of this program the strategies the components the objectives the aim so uh, it would be very much helpful for you if you go uh, out and read all the content available on this particular program after the session because it will help you to understand better also you might realize at the end of the class that all this program we are in all these elements we are discussing one and the same thing or i should say similar things so yes the things are similar the objectives are somewhat similar the preventive strategy is somewhat similar because they all are characteristically similar that is they all are factor bone clear so let's begin 
and we in india the directorate of national vector borne disease control program is a central agency for the prevention and control of six most common vector borne diseases in the country so if the question comes in your norset exam see we will try to cover both the aspects the norset aspect also as well as the ug aspect don't think that uh, since these classes are for the ug batch you will be ignoring the norset part no try to uh, take a grasp of both the topics simultaneously so when we talk about the uh, central agency which is managing this program then the answer would be the directorate of national vector borne disease control program now it is available at which uh, level of healthcare system yes it is available as the central level of healthcare system now the, the we have discussed two questions here first was which is the central agency second was that the directorate of national vector borne disease control program is at which level of healthcare system so it is at central level of healthcare system okay so the vector borne diseases are as i said there are six vector borne diseases which is malaria dengue lymphatic filariasis kala azar japanese encephalitis and chikungunya what will be the preventive and controlling strategies for vector borne disease see if in the question if it is asked that uh, write down the preventive and control strategies for national vector borne disease control program or the question comes that write the preventive and control strategies for any one of them like if they ask they ask for malaria or they ask for chikungunya then remember that whatever be the preventive and control strategies you have to write them under these specific three headings and what are these three headings disease management that is the treatment part the curative part the rehabilitative part of the diseases then is the supportive interventions sometimes there are multidisciplinary problems when we talk about vector borne diseases so supportive interventions such as health education information exchange behavioral change communication these are also a part of preventive control strategies and third is the integrated vector management using biological agents pesticides insecticides nets etc so there are three main headings under which we will be studying or you have to write the preventive and control strategies which are disease management supportive interventions and integrated vector man management so under the prevention and control as i said disease management supportive intervention and in uh, integrated vector management ab har ek ke andar kya aa raha hai so disease management mein char cheeze aa rahi hain first is early detection of cases and complete treatment because as soon as you diagnose the cases and as soon as you treat them you are preventing complications to occur so early detection of cases and complete treatment is one referral services now if a patient comes to you and already he is very much sick and you cannot manage him or her at your peripheral center then you have to refer the patient as soon as possible next is epidemic preparedness these six disease are very prone to become epidemic at any point of time provided the favorable situations are there so at any point of time we need to be also prepared for the epidemic so epidemic preparedness is very peculiar characteristic of this particular program rapid response if it is if there is epidemic then we have to respond in the most rapid way right going to supportive interventions so these are supporting the existing two interventions that is disease management and integrated vector management इन दोनों को और स्ट्रेंथन करने के लिए हमने क्या डिजाइन की है सपोर्टिव इंटरवेंशन हमने इन द सेंस द गवर्नमेंट फर्स्ट इज बिहेवियर चेंज कम्युनिकेशन नाउ वट इज दिस बी सी सी एनी फॉर्म ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन विच इज इंटेंडेड टू चेंज द बिहेवियर ऑफ अ पर्सन 
is behavior change communication. This is an integral part of all the programs which are launched by government of India because eventually we have to place the people's health in their own hands. So their attitude, their perception, their behavior towards health has to change. Next is capacity building. What is capacity building? All the healthcare workers which are involved right in the detection of these diseases and prevention of these diseases and control of these diseases, they need to be empowered with all the adequate skills. Next is intersectoral convergence. Now, since these are vector born, multiple areas of the society gets affected. So we have to converge, we have to put we have to put together all the areas and try to achieve and uh, achieve a proper management now how can you manage the uh, you know growth of factors for that we have four in uh, four strategies first is indoor residual spray next is impregnated bed nets Impregnated means infused bed nets. Infused with what? Pesticides and insecticides. Larvivorous fish. Larvivorous means that will be eating the larva. Larva of whom? The larva of vectors. And source reduction. Where there was the production, there was a hub where all the vectors were growing. That needs to be reduced. Okay. So we'll be discussing now each of the element in detail. But before that, let's recall that whenever the examiner asks you what are the preventive con and control strategies in National Vector Bone Disease Control Program, you have to write the answer under three subheadings. First is the disease management. Second is the supportive interventions. And third is the integrated vector management. At the end of the class, if you remember these three terms, and the strategies under these three terms. The least I expect you is that you will be remembering these three terms and the strategies under these terms. I will be more than happy because at least you will be able to answer some of the questions or I should say you will be, will be able to write at least some part of the answer. Clear? So now we'll be discussing each of the program in detail. And the first will be starting with malarial control program. Now, this program was launched during the first five-year plan. So, quickly tell me in the comment section below, when was the first five-year plan launched? I would be more than happy to know if somebody could answer me that when was the first five-year plan launched? So the first five-year program was launched in 1951 and later these five-year plans or I should, uh, 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 these five-year plans which were launched by Planning Commission of India were replaced by Niti Aayog in 2015. So we have discovered, uh, discussed another very uh, important question from Norset point of view that when was the Planning Commission of India Replaced. It was replaced by Niti Aayog in 2015. What is the full form of Niti Aayog? The full form of Niti Aayog is National Institution for Transforming India. Now, when this program was launched, our initial goal was to control the malaria. Later on, we saw a huge success of this program. And the government of India decided that instead of focusing now on control, we'll be focusing on eradication. So when there, we, there is control, from control we go on to which phase? We go on to elimination phase. From elimination phase, we go on to which phase? Eradication phase. Clear? So there are three phases, control phase, elimination phase, and eradication phase. Now, another very famous question. What is the difference between elimination and eradication? Any idea, students? What is the difference between elimination and eradication? Pehle koon hoga? Pehle elimination hoga ki eradication hoga? 
exactly we will first fall we will first achieve elimination and then we will achieve eradication now what is the difference between these two if we are able to control a disease if we are able to control any event so that it is not a major health issue for the society we call it as elimination hum us level tak pahunch gaye hain ki अब हमें इससे एज सच कोई खतरा नहीं है इट इज एलिमिनेशन इफ वी आर एबल टू टीयर आउट इट फ्रॉम रूट देन इट इज कॉल्ड इराडिकेशन प्रोग्राम मीन्स हमने उसे जड़ से खत्म कर दिया फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर वी हैव इराडिकेटेड पोलियो क्लियर विद दी हेल्प ऑफ ओरल पोलियो वैक्सीन एंड आई पी वी क्लियर so initially the goal was to eliminate malaria and then it was later changed to eradication now what are the main activities under this program first is policies and guidelines policy is a very important thing in the last class we discussed national health policy so and then they all we also discuss why do we formulate policies what are policies so in order to universalize things in order to have a framework we design specific policies and guidelines similarly to control malaria and to eradicate malaria we had specific policies next is technical guidance now what is technical guidance we need malarial detection kits we need malarial detection and surveillance system so that technical guidance needs to be there because you need to teach the healthcare worker how to do that next is planning and logistics planning and logistics of what planning and logistics of be it drugs be it registers or anything which is related to program there should be an uninterrupted supply of the medications so that we can maintain adherence and we can maintain consistency in our efforts to reduce malarial incidents next is monitoring and evaluation whenever a government launches whenever the government launches the national health programs it is important to launch a monitoring and evaluation system along with that program or an inherent monitoring and evaluation system because that's how will be able to judge that whether we have achieved the success or not next is coordination of activities with the government since it is a centrally sponsored program the state has to coordinate with the central government next is collaboration with international organizations so it's not that malaria is a problem to india also it is a problem to many other african countries and uh, various parts of the world so we have to collaborate with international agent, uh, organization international agencies ki aapke paas kya naya treatment hai so that we could adopt that treatment from them next is a facilitating research in the last class also i focused on the importance of research in community health nursing and we need to understand that research is integral it is it should be the uncompromised aspect next is coordinating control activities now intersectoral coordination will play a very crucial part in various national health programs and malarial control is no exception we have to coordinate with various uh, sections of the society so that we can control the uh, malarial incidents next is various strategies so we as uh, earlier i told you that there are three main strategies unhi ko alag alag karke humne yahan pe likh diya hai agar question 2 marks ka aata hai to sirf enlist kar dena agar question 5 marks ka aata hai to aur describe kar dena theek hai surveillance and case management integrated vector management epidemic preparedness and early response supportive interventions mosquito control measures just may we will have larval anti larval measures and we will have anti adult measures production uh, protection against mosquito bite reduction of mosquito breeding sites health education and integrated approach always focus on the integrated approach and the intersectoral coordination in national health programs be it any program aur kya honge important role in controlling malaria strategies and uh, goal setting diagnosis and treatment to ye humne kya discuss kiya humne different strategies ko discuss kiya under which under malarial control program now what will be the role of 
community health nurse in caring a, uh, for a patient with malaria so what uh, don't see the slide now just think that if a patient comes to you who is diagnosed with malaria or i should say let's say he or she is suspected of having malaria what all uh, things you need to perform as a community health nurse what all things do you need to care for will be the monitoring vital signs yes will be uh, preparing the thick and thin blood smears now your homework is to tell me what is the difference between thick and thin blood smears and why do we prepare two types of blood smears ek hi prepare kar lete hain na dono prepare karne ki kya zarurat hai it is very crucial to understand that if a patient is diagnosed with fever do not take it lightly no fever case to be ignored this should be highlighted that no fever case needs to be ignored while caring patients with malaria presumptive treatment no treatment in empty stomach clear do not give any form of treatment oral iv whatever if the patient is nil per oral okay health education health education about what health education about caring health education by health education for a larval control health education for other things such as integrated vector management next is plenty of water plenty of water is very very important in which other disease we all also focus on plenty of water in which other vector borne disease yes dengue is also the other vector borne disease in which we focus on plenty of water rehydration is the key next is anti malarial drugs and vomiting you need to uh, monitor the patient for monitoring next is immediate referral in case of any complications the patients need to be referred then is the follow up and treatment when is discharge they need to be follow up and adequate treatment need to be ensured next is lymphatic uh, filariasis elimination program so this is elimination program malaria was a control program do not change these terms you can't write lymphatic uh, filariasis control program it has to be lymphatic filariasis elimination program clear now how do we define the elimination of lymphatic filariasis we define it as when it ceases to be a public health problem as we discussed this earlier that when do we call anything to be eliminated when it ceases to be a public health problem and when will it cease to be a public health problem when the number of micro filaria carriers carriers is less than 1% and the children born after initi uh, initiation of elimination of lymphatic filariasis are free from circular antg clear so what is antigenemia presence of antigen in the blood is antigenemia so just remember this definition this is a standard definition you cannot change any term of it here or uh, in few words if you have to remember it it would be the number of micro uh, micro filaria uh, carriers is less than 1% iske kit uh, aur agar zyada define karna hai to iske kitne components is definition mein teen components hai पहला क्या है इट सीज टू बी अ पब्लिक हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम दूसरा क्या है वेन द नंबर ऑफ माइक्रो फिलेरिया कैरियर्स कैरियर्स इज लेस देन वन परसेंट और तीसरा क्या है चिल्ड्रन बोन आर फ्री फ्रॉम सर्कुलेटिंग एंटीजीनिमिया क्लियर next is what are the major activities under national filaria control program so first is as we discussed earlier anti larval and anti mosquito measures फाइलेरिया क्लिनिक्स लगाने हैं जैसे उसमें मलेरिया क्लिनिक्स लगाने थे इसमें क्या लगाना है फाइलेरिया क्लिनिक्स लगाने हैं अंडरग्राउंड ड्रेनेज फैसिलिटीज होनी चाहिए क्यों होनी चाहिए क्योंकि हमें वेक्टर को रोकना है वेक्टर का स्प्रेड रोकना है ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज टेबलेट एल्बेंडाजोल देनी है होम बेस्ड फुट केयर देनी है एंड हाइड्रोसिलेक्टमी करनी है हाइड्रोसिलेक्टमी इज रिमूवल ऑफ हाइड्रोसीट होम बेस्ड केयर करेंगे होम बेस्ड फुट केयर पे फोकस करना है द करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ फाइलेरिया इज Uh, the ability of this disease to affect the foot so home based foot care should be there uh, after all after onwards in 2004 mass drug administration was uh, you know promoted by the government of india so mda is a very important part of this program also questions have come 
when it was said that uh, for which of the following diseases MDA has been promoted. So it would be filaria. However, in 2012, the Mass Drug Administration was stopped. Now, Mass Drug Administration of what? Which medicine? Yes, DEC. Uh, that would be annual uh, mass drug administration as we discussed home based management lymphedema there is a lot of lymphedema the swelling of foot the drainage of lymphatic system is not proper hydrocele operations insect repellent creams kyunki hame kya nahi chahiye hame to machhar chahiye nahi theek hai so insect repellent uh, creams would be there then is insecticides impregnated bed nets and mosquito mesh mosquito mesh is machhar dani वो भी नहीं होनी चाहिए वो होनी चाहिए सॉरी हेल्थ एजुकेशन शुड बी देयर ट्रीटमेंट शुड बी देयर इंफॉर्मेशन एंड असिस्टेंस सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड टू प्रोग्राम्स फर्स्ट वाज द मलेरियल कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम एंड द अदर वाज द फाइलेरिया कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम एलिमिनेशन प्रोग्राम नाउ वी विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन द काला आजाद प्रोग्राम सो दिस इज आल्सो अ सेंट्रली स्पोंसर्ड प्रोग्राम व्हिच वाज इनिशियली लॉन्च इन 1991 and prior to administration of ddt kala azad was highly endemic in india so it was highly endemic what is the uh, i in the last class also i guess we discussed what is endemic what is endemic endemic or endemic however you whatever you pronounce it and uh, endemic is the constant presence of a disease in the community clear aur kya hote similar terms epidemic very good और क्या होगी पेंडेमिक नाइस सो इट डिस्टर्ब द इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ ऑफ द कंट्री ड्यू टू इट्स हाई मॉर्बिडिटी एंड मोर्टैलिटी रेट इट इज इट इज हाईली फेटल एंड आफ्टर दैट डीडीटी वाज लॉन्च एंड द इंसिडेंस वाज ब्रॉट डाउन फ्रॉम 77000 केसेस अप्रोक्स टू 13000 केसेस फ्रॉम 1992 टू 2013 सो 1992 में हमारे पास कितने केसेस आ रहे थे अप्रोक्सीमेटली 78,000 केसेस आ रहे थे फिर 2013 में हमारे पास कितने केसेस आए 14,000 केसेस आए ना एलिमिनेशन स्ट्रेटजीज मलेरियल कंट्रोल फाइलेरिया एलिमिनेशन काला आजार भी क्या है एलिमिनेशन क्या क्या स्ट्रेटजीज होंगी केस डिटेक्शन एंड कंप्लीट ट्रीटमेंट हमने पहले भी बात की रैपिड डायग्नोस्टिक किट्स होंगी और कौन सी टैबलेट होगी टैबलेट मिल्टेपोसिन ये याद करना है ठीक है वेक्टर कंट्रोल फॉगिंग वेक्टर कंट्रोल फॉगिंग कैसे होती है जैसे डेंगू के टाइम होती है ना पीडब्ल्यूडी की कुछ वैन्स आती हैं जो पूरी स्ट्रीट को फॉगिंग का फॉगिंग करती है वैसे इसकी भी होती है ठीक है कम्युनिकेशन एंड इंटरसेक्टोरल कन्वर्जेंस कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग सुपरविजन मॉनिटरिंग एंड इवेलुएशन and research guidelines prevention ab aap mein se koi mujhe kahega ki ma'am sab ki same hi to strategies pad rahe hain same preventive strategies hai pehle bhi yahi pada case detection ab bhi yahi pada supervision monitoring and evaluation ab bhi yahi pad rahe hain vector control fogging to maine aapko class ki starting mein hi bola tha that they all are since they all are vector bone to unki preventive and eliminative strategies bhi more or less similar hi hain except the drug which is given क्लियर फाइलेरिया में हम क्या दे रहे थे डीईसी दे रहे थे काला जार में हम क्या दे रहे हैं मिल्टोसिन दे रहे हैं मलेरिया में हम क्या देते हैं क्विनोन्स देते हैं क्लियर केस सर्च कैसे करेंगे काला आजार की सो डोर टू डोर सर्वे कंडक्ट करेंगे ऑल्सो वी हैव क्वार्टरली केस सर्च फॉर एवरी केस आइडेंटिफिकेशन आशा इज हैज टू बी गिवन रिनमरेशन ऑफ रुपीज थ्री and for every insecticide spray she has to be given a remuneration of rupees 100 up now uh, quickly tell me the full form of asha anyone in the comment section below please tell me the full form of asha yes the full form of asha is बताओ फुल फॉर्म ऑफ आशा एक्रेडिटेड सोशल हेल्थ एक्टिविस्ट ऑल्सो तो उनको कितने पैसे मिलेंगे रुपीज थ्री हंड्रेड मिलेंगे फॉर एवरी केस आइडेंटिफिकेशन एंड रुपीज हंड्रेड मिलेंगे फॉर एवरी कम्युनिटी सपोर्ट दैट इज इंसेक्टिसाइड एंड स्प्रे पेशेंट इज टू बी पेड रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड ऑन हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन अब पेशेंट को क्यों पैसे मिल रहे हैं 
पेशेंट को पैसे इसलिए मिल रहे हैं बिकॉज सिंस दिस डिजीज इज हाईली मॉर्बिड दिस डिजीज इज हाई मॉर्बिडिटी एंड हाई मोर्टैलिटी तो उनका जो भी डेली वेजेस का लॉस हो रहा है उनका वो दिन काम पे तो नहीं जा पाएंगे तो उसको कॉम्पनसेट करने के लिए वी गिव दम रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड और हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन अब जब हमने एलिमिनेशन कर लिया तो हम किस पे जाएंगे इराडिकेशन पे जाएंगे तो इराडिकेशन के लिए द प्रोग्राम वॉज लॉन्च इन टू सी नंबर ऑफ केसेस डिक्लाइंड इन 2013 तो जस्ट उसके एक साल बाद हमने क्या लॉन्च कर दिया इराडिकेशन प्रोग्राम क्लियर रैपिड डायग्नोस्टिक टेस्ट डेवलप बाय आईसीएमआर व्हाट इज आईसीएमआर इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ मेडिकल रिसर्च और इनके हेडक्वार्टर्स कहाँ पे है यस न्यू दिल्ली में ट्रीटमेंट विद लाइफोसोमल एंड एम्फोटेरिसन बी बाय डब्ल्यू हेल्थ वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो रैपिड डायग्नोस्टिक टेस्ट किट किसने बनाई आईसीएमआर ने और ट्रीटमेंट किसका लाइपोसोमल का और एम्फोटेरिसिन बी का वो किसने दिया डब्ल्यू एच ओ ने दिया ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज जैपनीज इंसिफिलाईटिस कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम हमने कौन कौन से डिस्कस किए मलेरियल कंट्रोल फाइलेरियटिक एलिमिनेशन एंड काला अजार एलिमिनेशन नेक्स्ट इज फिर से एक कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम आ गया है किसका जैपनीज इंसेफिलाइटिस का so there are nearly 68000 clinical cases of japanese encephalitis and there were up to 20400 deaths globally as per the data from who 20 to 30% of patients diagnosed with japanese encephalitis suffer with permanent intellectual behavioral neurological problems such as paralysis recurrent seizures and inability to speak and this disease is commonly found in rural and semi urban areas clear hai this disease is as the kala jar was very uh, very high morbid and a uh, very highly morbid and mortal um, with a disease with high mortality similarly japanese encephalitis is a, also a disease with high mortality i can see prakriti mohanta has uh, answered the full form of asha as accredited social health act, uh, activist very good prakriti your answer is absolutely right and these ashas were launched under national rural health mission i am very happy that uh, she has answered it very correctly okay now what are the vector control intervention strategies fir se bhai now focus on this alternate wet and dry irrigation agar examiner aap se puchta hai ki japanese encephalitis ki preventive and control strategy batao to aapki jo pehli preventive and control strategy honi chahiye wo kya honi chahiye alternate wet and dry irrigation hona chahiye this is only exclusively done for the case of japanese encephalitis next is biological and control strategies and third is the chemical control using insecticides and pesticides health education kis pe denge health education surrounding pe denge logo ko promote karenge will spread about the prevention and management we will keep the surroundings clean clean surroundings pe kyu focus kar rahe hain kyunki vector borne disease hai clear vectors kahan honge vectors surroundings mein to honge next is engaging community activities because hame kis pe focus karna hai hame to convergence pe focus karna hai hame intersectoral coordination pe focus karna hai clear personal protective measures kya honge अब मच्छर से बचने के लिए हम क्या क्या करते हैं सोच के बताओ सब फॉलो करते हैं ये पूरी बाजू के कपड़े पहनते हैं फुल स्लीव क्लोथ मस्कीटो कोयल्स लगाते हैं कई बार ऑल आउट वगैरह भी यूज करते हैं नीम लीव्स क्योंकि नीम की स्मेल जो होती है इट इज इरिटेंट टू मस्कीटोज या वैक्टर्स ठीक है अवॉइड वॉटर स्टेगनेशन वॉटर स्टेगनेशन होगा तो क्या होगा वैक्टर ब्रीडिंग होगी अवॉइड स्लीपिंग आउटडोर्स बाहर मच्छर है इसलिए बाहर नहीं सोएंगे नेक्स्ट इज एंगेजिंग कम्युनिटी एक्टिविटीज लोगों को प्रमोट करेंगे एलिमिनेट पिग फार्मिंग वेरी नाइस वेरी पेक्यूलियर थिंग अबाउट पिग फार्मिंग बिकॉज पिग इज अ रिजर्व फॉर जैपनीज इंसिफिलाइटिस नेक्स्ट इज कीप सराउंडिंग क्लीन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट करेंगे एयर जब हम किसी भी केस को ऑफ डायबिटीज मेलाइटिस को ट्रीट करेंगे तो विल फोकस ऑन एयर वे मैनेजमेंट फीडिंग एंड एंटी कन्वर्ज एंड ड्रग्स एंटी कन्वर्ज एंड ड्रग्स आर यूज टू ट्रीट सीजर्स 
clear and next is long term care and rehabilitation because as i said there is a very high morbidity and mortality so we have to focus on long term care and rehabilitation surveillance karenge with the help of early diagnosis and management strengthen the system accordingly and zero surveillance karenge clear hai next is the dengue control dengue very important so dengue this uh, mostly occurs in tropical and subtropical climates and severe dengue which gives rise to hemorrhagic fever is a major cause of death among children clear hai same agar hum key elements ki baat kare surveillance hai case management hai vector management hai outbreak response hai capacity building hai behavioral change communication hai intersectoral coordination hai monitoring hai and supervision hai मैं इसको बार बार रिपीट नहीं कर रही हूँ कि केस मैनेजमेंट में क्या करेंगे बिकॉज वी पूरी वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग दिस फ्रॉम पास्ट थर्टी फोर्टी मिनट्स क्लियर नाउ द लास्ट इज चिकन गुनिया सो दिस मोस्टली अकर्स इन ट्रॉपिकल एंड सब सब ट्रॉपिकल क्लाइमेट्स ग्लोबली और ट्रॉपिकल सब ट्रॉपिकल में क्या था डेंगी भी था तो जो स्ट्रैटेजी डेंगी की थी वो स्ट्रैटेजी किसकी होंगी वो चिकन गुनिया की भी होंगी सो स्ट्रैटेजीज ऑफ डेंगी कंट्रोल आर अप्लाई टू chicken gunia control also what will be the role of community health nurse the role of community health nurse would be environmental control hoga full sleeve clothes honge mosquito coils hongi application of repellents honge insecticide treated mosquito nets honge before diving into the short and long qa i would like to request to everyone who is watching this session that the only take home message you should take from this 1 hour class is what are the six diseases which is covered under the national vector borne disease control program that is this slide che diseases kaun si hain malaria dengue lymphatic filariasis kala jar japanese encephalitis and chikungunya aur jo dusri slide aapko ghar leke jani hai wo le ye leke jani teen preventive and control strategies disease management supportive intervention integrated management aur ek har ek ke andar jo bhi teen char points hai bas ye do slide aap yaad rakhiye ye wali slide aur ye wali slide aur kuch nahi yaad rakhna hai aapko zyada you will trust me you will be able to answer the question and you will be able to score good marks also bas isko jitni weightage marks hai uske hisab se answer karna hai clear hai और पॉसिबल क्या क्वेश्चंस हो सकते हैं शॉर्ट एंड लॉन्ग क्वेश्चंस लिस्ट डाउन दी वैक्टर बॉन्ड डिजीजेस एक्सप्लेन मरेलियर कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम एंड राइट दी रोल ऑफ कम्युनिटी हेल्थ नर्स हो सकता है स्टेट एनी सिक्स वैक्टर बॉन्ड डिजीज एंड एक्सप्लेन दी वैक्टर बॉन्ड डिजीज कंट्रोल मेजर्स टू बी टेकन इन स्लम एरिया ओके सो बिफोर अब आपका होमवर्क क्या है आपका जो मेन होमवर्क है यहाँ से जाने के बाद टेक अ नोटबुक उसमें बड़ा बड़ा ऊपर लिखेंगे नेशनल वेक्टर बोन डिजीज कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम और उसके नीचे छह लाइंस बना के छह डिजीज के नाम लिखने हैं ठीक है फिर नीचे एक हेडिंग डालेंगे प्रिवेंटिव एंड कंट्रोल स्ट्रैटेजीज उसके नीचे भी तीन लाइनें लगाएंगे तीनों में तीन स्ट्रैटेजी लिखेंगे और उसके अंडर जो भी तीन चार स्ट्रैटेजीज थी वो लिखेंगे ये एक पेज You trust me if you go and do this exercise. अगर आप एक बार इसको लिख लेते हैं you will never forget that, and you will be remember it till your exams and even after your exams. Clear? And my motive of conducting this session will be completed. In case if you have any doubt, please feel free to answer in the comment section below. I am waiting and I will be more than happy to answer your queries. घर जाके जो भी सेशंस हम डिस्कस करते हैं इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू डिस्क टू डिस्कस वट एवर इज रिटर्न इन बुक इन वन आवर क्लियर हम आपको बेसिक कंसेप्ट समझाते हैं यू हैव टू गो होम रीड रीड एंड रीड रीडिंग इज द की एज मच एज यू विल रीड यू विल एबल टू डेवलप योर कंसेप्ट बेटर यू विल बी एबल टू अटेम्प दी क्वेश्चन इन एग्जाम्स बहुत इन नॉर्स इट एंड बोथ इन subjective papers also you go to the community you will be able to tell people ki kya karna hai clear the 
why we are having community postings we are have we are having community postings because we, so that we can dispel the information whatever we have agar aap jaate hain community mein aur logo ko batate hain ki vector management kaise karna hai to you have no idea how significant uh, change you are going to make in the community clear so making an impact should always be our goal and whatever you have learned about vector management tomorrow when you go to the community postings or whenever you go please try to educate the people so that uh, together we can reduce the incidence and prevalence of these vector borne diseases till then a very happy learning to all the students and in case you have any doubt please feel feel free to reach out to us we will be more than happy to answer your questions till then signing off thank you happy learning bye bye